Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's your boy, Mount Boy. Um, just want to do a real quick review, man, my boat. Real quick as I can. Just to show y'all, man, uh, my little Fast Tracker Protein 170. Uh, this was the third anniversary that they came out with. If you can see it, third anniversary. Yes, back in 2008. Um, I had this boat since 2008. One owner had it before me. Traded right back in the next week they bought it. Too small for them and went bigger. Anyway, it's kind of ir irrelevant, but um, this is a 16 foot model Protein 17. Like I said, one of the special edition that came out that year. Um, so I have two towel on in the back. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, just let me just run around right quick, you know. I just I'm I'm always proud of my little boat, man. You know, I always keep me going and stay happy with the fish. You know, serve me serve me right. Um, I could have bought a fiberglass, but this is my first boat ever and. I figured I'd have been banging it up a little good bit, which I have done, so I mean, got a little bit of nicks and necks on it, but nothing major, you know. Rarely can tell too much, so, anyways, let's jump inside right quick. Show you what I got going on. Alright, starting up at the front, you know, I got the Little Rats Hook 7 model. Uh, Start that, you know, it's pretty good. Love it to death. Uh, gets the job done, puts me, it helps me with the fish also. As you, you, you want to know more, you can Google it about it. Go on right here, uh, add a meal foot switch for the trim up and down. Uh, added that on. Here's my other switch right here for my talons for the back. I might get a foot switch later, for, but I'm not sure yet. Um, the other thing I added was the trailer motor tray here. Uh, custom built it, you know. I did out some wood and you know some angle lines built it nice and it's kind of looked like something that you gotta know it's, you know it's cheap cost me 20 bucks total for everything wood metal and everything so uh fucking just sitting that perfect just perfect fit you know out my way one thing i did did different from the new models that they got out was i ran this wire here up on i cut a hole through that and ran through that most of them just got it sitting right outside through here you know but that was just my little method. Something different. Something different. That's all it took. All right, backing up here. Then I bought this seat post here. Uh, a couple weeks ago at Spring Classic, Bass Masters, Bass Pro Shop. Really good. Uh, I really bought it for my butt seat. I got my butt seat up under the seat, but it helps out a lot also. Then you can also see I got my little LEDs running on the front there. I added those. I love fishing at night too. So it helps out, you know. Random, random off the switch. Got two there, two there. One on this side here. One on this side. My kill switch. Add a cigarette light also. Good deal. Turn it back off. Then, you know, it's got the red compartments on this boat. See, it's a fairly small boat. Only 16 foot, but, I mean, but for me, it's all I need. And I can ski off it. I can tube off it. Fit the horsepower motor. Just put this enough for me. You know, I just keep the reg storage stuff in here. Whenever I'm going to keep my rod and stuff in there. My life preserved. Oh, I locked it back. Well, I keep my life preserved in that one. Then I built this cooler the other day, for a while ago. Uh, you know, thought I did a pretty good job on it. You know, built some sheet metal and some wood. Put some caulk and run it. I mean, it keep drinks cool. Really cool, man. Really cool. Going to the panel right here. Uh, everything else is pretty standard, you know, except the voltmeter here. I added the voltmeter for the batteries because, you know, I got these other electronics on here. So I uh, just need to know what I'm doing and, uh, and put me a radio also. So, and I love jamming to music a lot while I'm fishing. Just keep me, keep my mind going. And right here, I got another little ranch. Elite 57 DSI, downscan imaging. So it's an okay mod. I wish, I mean, I should have bought something a little different, but it gets the job done, especially for like GPS and stuff. I love the GPS on it. I can really mark my points to come back to them. So it helps out a lot. What else I got? Well, you know, I just added a little bottom mount. Love catfishing also. I, I do all kinds of fishing. So, and accessory I thought I needed, I added on there. And up under the seats here, I just got, uh, a second. Sorry, camera. 
You know, I just got little basic stuff under my life preservers, the rod ropes, my ears and everything, my paddle. Then I got my light behind the seat, you know, that sticks up for night time. And just, I will keep my butt seat up under there. You know, there's nothing, nothing up under the seat. I kind of like about this model that they came out with, because all the seats pull up, you know. You got good storage up on all of them, so. Pretty, pretty neat, kind of be handy. And right here, you know, I just added another rod holder. Like I said, when I do like catfish and troll or something, I just chuck them out there, let them go. And that's my device that I show you. Added the four speakers down here. Uh, I did them all myself, you know, just cut them in there. And it, I mean, it jams, it jams real loud. So, I'm, I guess I got a boss uh, head unit and I got four dual speakers here, you know, and they're really good. Added a couple orders also. They didn't come in the boat, added those. Uh, they come in handy quite a bit also. They're really a bunch that come in handy. Use them every time I'm out in the water. Going to the back here, and this compartment. You know, some of the new ones now, Track has got a little compartment inside, but I just hey, I cut a hole in mine, fuck it. Took all the foam out, built it myself, and made a little wider, so. And I keep, I can keep four, three, sixty 60 boxes in here. And everything. And other little storage, but I don't want to keep the box in. But that's basically what I keep in there. So, and the hole's pretty good when you steps on it. So I make sure I did some good, good construction on it. Then you got some basic live well. Uh, going to the back here. Hey, this is the part I love. The two medical talons on the bass track. I did a lot of reviews. I didn't see no two talons on the bass track. I don't see one. So I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to get two anyway, so I figured I'd make a video of it. But anyways, yes, let me show you here. What's going on with the top ones? And I mount right to the transom itself. Drill the four holes for bolts, and it fits just perfect. When you turn it, and I got about three and a half inches of clearance when I put the motor all the way down and turn it. So it doesn't does affect it at all. doesn't affect it at all. Also, I added a bank battery charger here. On board battery charger, sorry. So, you know, I just have to worry about hooking cables up to the battery. Just boom. And I just ran it right through here. Plug it in, plug it out. What I did with the talons also, I added a kill switch. Like, they recommend, if you ever get one, they recommend adding a kill switch. Some people see the mic come deployed, just hooking up to the battery, might not. No, I just didn't take the shot. I just added a kill switch to it. So, she so just turned the switch. I hit the switch on. Switch is on, then I... Grab my remote up here from the talons. Like I said, two clicks now. Both talons deploy. And these are the 12 foot models. They are the 12 foot models, you can see, two 12 foot. And one click up. And I also added the alarm to it. Some people say the alarm is not that loud, but I think it's loud enough. Um, I'll show you how it sounds. I'm like, if you can't hear the alarm, why is it a tablet on? Something wrong, but see, I'm pretty young and I got some young ears on me, so. Switch to turn. Then it go off about seven seconds. But uh, anyways, that's that's what the new talons. Love them to death, man. They, like I said, they hold me right in place, secure. Don't move at all. Don't sway back and forth, left, right. Uh, I wasn't going to micro power poles, but you know, I had the extra money floating around, so that's why I decided to do that. But yeah, uh, that's it, man, for my little review. I was doing. Let me turn on the kill switch again. Yeah, that's it for my little review I was doing. So if you got any questions, anything, uh, feel, feel free to ask, and uh, whatever I can answer, I try my best to. So, 
All right, that's it. I'm out, boy. And I'm out.